Hello and welcome back to this Any% percent tutorial for Duke Nukem 3D World Tour. We're now going to go through LA Meltdown, the first episode in the game. Which is going to be played on Piece of Cake. With the exception of the birth, every episode is going to be played on this setting. And you'll see why when we get to the, the birth, which will be played on Let's Rock. Now, as always, I'm going to do a non-commentary run through each episode after the uh, tutorial where I explain it. Just to show you an example. But you're going to shoot that fan, drop down, head up here to the secret. Now I'm going to do a save here. You don't have to do the save, but I want to explain this first. You're going to activate steroids. Come down here, grab that health if you need it. And you're going to strafe into this corner and then shut the door. And what that'll do... While, stra while uh, steroids is active, it'll warp you up to the top there where a secret area is. You're gonna grab the jetpack and the shotgun. Then you're gonna drop down and exit the level. And this is what it will look like. Now as you press forward and if you land on the slope here, you will not die from fall damage. Otherwise, you can just use your jetpack if you don't feel comfortable with that. Turn it on just before you land, turn it off, shoot this, and exit. Now, mash the activate key so you can skip that. Okay, now for red light district. I'm gonna crouch to get through early, jump up here to pick up health and armor, crouch down, hit that switch from behind, turn on your jetpack. Turn it off, back on again just before you land, grab the med kit, on and off again, get through the door. Now we come through here, grab the red key, turn on your jetpack. Unlock this, crash through to get early. Now this grating, you can just pass right through it, but the second one you have to kick open. Skip over the trigger by flying the using the jetpack to fly over, aim at the corner. Okay, now for death row. Hold forward to get out of the electric chair. Kick the glass, hit that switch. Kick that glass. Come through through this chapel area to get the steroids. Head through this, the seam right there in that wall to get through that explosion early. Wait for him to get out of the way. Grab the keycard and the RPG. Grab that med kit if you need it. Crouch to get through early. Blow up the pig cop. Aim straight up and quick kick to open the door. Right here, you're going to want to turn on your steroids to get those atomic healths. Line yourself on this corner. Jump and crouch right as you hit the uh, the gate there. Right here. What I did there, instead of blowing up the wall, I held down crouch and spammed the jump key. And that led me through. This trick uh, can kill you, so use that playback feature. And you should, if you're you're fast enough, you should still have steroids active. And you'll come through here to the submarine, kick the glass, and get leave the level. Now for toxic dump. We crouch down here. Hold down crouch and back, and then shoot the floor with the RPG. And that'll get you through early. Get this health if you need it. The RPG for the ammo. And your key card. Now this key this uh, key card reader is a bit weird. It doesn't work too well if you're right up close to it. So I like to stand back a little bit further. Crash through these doors again early. Okay, now this part. This is the first use of the crouch jump. If you've watched my Ion Fury tutorial, crouch jumping is a bit different in this game. Now normally you will need to find a key card to activate this shrinker and that lets you get through there. Normally when the shrink effect wears off, you'll grow back to normal size and it'll kill you. But if you do a crouch jump, you'll get through this gap perfectly fine and get through the other side, hit the switch, okay, come back through the same method and then we can leave the, the level. So you do this by first jumping and releasing. While in the air, you're going to hold down jump and crouch. While also pushing forward. It's really not that complicated as it sounds. 
but it'll let you through here. Now to load up that save again, do it at speed. Just like that, hit the switch, and do it again. Go through the water. Now you're going to want to head up here to get the steroids. And leave the level through this... It's not tagged as a secret, but you jump through this wall, hit that switch, and now you're out. Okay, now for the abyss. Now, if you're not comfortable with this trick, you can go along the path down there to that slime and onto the the path, the, the platform there, and get the key card. Or you can come down here, turn on steroids, and do the crouch jump that I showed you, and slip through underneath the gate. Come along here, go to the sign, do a strafe jump, and be sure to fall right here. Head up the stairs. Don't get blocked by the Octobrain like I did. Activate the hidden wall, get your steroids. Switch here. Just come along here. Raise the platform. Trigger the explosion. Crouch jump to get through. I'm picking up these for safety. Now, instead of picking up the boots, you can hit steroids. Come down through here. Be sure to get the atomic health. You don't need the second one. Just keep coming along here. Now for the platforming section. Be a bit careful coming along here. If you fall, you can use the playback feature. Uh, just aim the RPG at the wall and blow yourself up to do it early. Crouch through here to get through. Activate the switch. Now it is time for the boss. I'm going to activate this switch, pick up the medkit, the RPG ammo, come along this wall, aim for his head. Now if your health gets low, just spam your medkit to heal up, and that's going to be LA Meltdown.
and that's going to cover it for LA Meltdown. I will see you in the next video for Lunar Apocalypse. Thank you for tuning in.